Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And we are back with another resin project. So today I have these fun little bear, they're keychains, but I'm going to use mine for a sign that I'm making with my Cricut. Um, either way, they are so pretty because not only is it the bear, but if you look really closely, the mountains, there's a little night sky, there's a little moon. They have an amazing like display landscape pattern that is built into the mold. Now, technically there are keychains, so you can pop this on your key ring and go, 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 or you could fill in that little hole and use it as a solid piece. You could cut that little keychain bob off and uh, mold it as a solid piece. I decided just to go with it. And like I said, I'm gonna put this on a little Cricut sign, but before I can put it on my sign, I have to show you how I made it. So let's get started. I'm going to jump right into the project and show you how to make these. All right, y'all, so let's jump right in to mixing our resin. So we are going to start by putting on all of our protective gear, because that is always the most important. So, dun -dun -dun -dun. go ahead and put on my gloves, put on my respirator, and now I am going to make several projects at once, even though I'm going to be showing you these projects one at a time. And so in order to make the four or five different fall projects I'm working on, I'm going to go ahead and mix 900 milliliters of resin, and then I'll split it between those projects. I will put on the screen here how many milliliters we use for each individual project on that video. Um, and I am, of course, using my Total Boat Maker Poxy. This is a one-to-one -one ratio resin. If you want a full in-depth mixing tutorial for resin, I did just release my resin for beginners course. I will link that down below. I go over every single step in detail for all kinds of things, but mixing resin is lesson number one, because if you're gonna make anything with resin, kind of an important step. But for today, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna mix 900 milliliters of resin here, and then we will get started with our individual fall projects. I'm so excited. We have so many fun things to make today. So as always, just dun -da -da -da. One pump. So one pump. I'll be back once this is all mixed up and ready to roll. All right, so we've got all our resin mixed. We've got about, well, it doesn't really matter because we're using different amounts for each project. <laughs> but we've got about half copper and half of the copper flakes. So we're going to go ahead. I've let them sit for a minute. I'm going to use my heat gun to pop all those bubbles. <laughs> At least any bubbles that have come to the surface. Of course, we are using a silicone mold today, so we want to use a heat gun instead of a torch. That way we do not melt our silicone mold. But I'm going to go ahead and move everything out of the way so that we can bring our uh, silicone mold in and get started. All right, y'all, ready for our cute little bears. So technically these are keychains. They came in a two pack. You can see that they have this amazing like mountain starry sky um, background. I love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to pour these in the copper, which is this hobby brand testers paint it's oil based so it gives this really fun like metallic shift to your pieces i started using this when i was a little girl dad and i used to paint all of our trains with it he has an entire ho train 
set up in his basement. If you follow me over on Instagram, I think I have it in a highlight because I showed it the last time I visited him. But we're going to go ahead and pour these. These take very, very little. Like, I made two of them last night with one pump of A and one pump of B from my resin. So, like, just very minuscule amounts. We're just going to pour it in a thin stream right in the middle. maybe like 10 milliliters of resin each, if that. Okay. I didn't have a silicone mat for this because bought two new ones and I seem to have misplaced them. I bought two new packs. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna find them as soon as I'm done with all my resin projects for the day. All right, so you can see they do self-level. The resin is working its way into all those nooks and crannies. That might be much, that might be a bit much, but you wanna watch it. And then if you need to help it, I'm gonna make sure it goes into all of those little feet and the nose and especially around right there, around that little keychain holder. This is easier with a toothpick or a uh, smaller popsicle stick, but this works. I think I poured a little more in this one, so he, in almost all those areas, one little back toe. Pull this keychain above aside. There we go. Easy. This mold is so easy, and I love the way it looks. All right, we're going to use our heat gun now to pop those bubbles. bought these. I bought these to make for my dad. So I made him some little black bears, but I'm going to make a cricket sign about mountains. And I thought, how cute would a resin bear be crossing those mountains? So I'm going to make a couple more. And I'm going to put them on my little sign. All right. I think that's good. I'm going to go cover these. And then tomorrow afternoon, we want to give them 24 hours. You can unmold them after about 12, but they won't be really cured until at least 24 hours. They'll be very bendable, which especially this little keychain hole, not so good. Now, once he's all done, if you don't want that keychain hole, you can always fill it with some resin. Or if you really never want to make keychains with these, just use an X-Acto knife and slice it off. I'm going to go put these away. So cute. My dogs love them. They're telling me with the song of their people. All right. Are you ready to unmold these guys? These should come out, yep, really easy. You're just gonna pull it away from the sides and really by the time we get around, it should be pretty much all the way out. Oh my God, he's so cute. You can see all that detail back there. And of course, if I had done more of the copper pigment, he would be darker. But I love him. Now you can see that they are, this has been about 24 hours. They're hard. But I find that like if I set this on a curved surface right now, it would still be able to curve. So I like to lay these flat for at least, at least a couple days to make sure that they dry. Perfect. So 
I'm gonna let these sit for a couple days and then I will show you the final up close, really cute shots. I love them. All right, y'all. I think I'm gonna zoom you in for this one. Yeah. Look at this. Look how cute he is. Do you see the mountains and the moon and the stars? They are so cute. I cannot wait to put these on my Cricut sign and I will link to that below as soon as it is finished. But I just finished making the SVGs yesterday, designing them. So I will have to cut it out and put the sign together and then pop these little bears on. I don't know if I'm gonna add one bear or two. Maybe I'll add them like walking together like brothers through the forest. Either way, this was such a fun, quick project. I kind of want to keep making more because I want to put one on my keychain. But like I said earlier, I did send one of these to my dad. So I really hope he likes it. Um, just a second. I made his black. I made two of them because I had enough resin. So here is the black second one. If you want to see it in a darker color. Kind of like little black bear and little brown bears. But either way, I love how this turned out. I cannot wait to see him on the sign. And I will see y'all in the next project. Bye.